All right. This video is on how to know if you're being tapped into. Now, watch the screen for a minute. I'm just going to do something normal here and click this. Okay, let's try this. Ready? All right, you see how that laid out? Didn't jump. Now, I know this sounds kind of weird and paranoid or whatever, but that's what the man wants you to think. Well, you can do the command, control, and that's that, B. Most likely they got a proxy. Um, I found lots of information um, when I did this back in the day. The computer got ended up getting confiscated and, and uh, it, it malfunctioned, so I don't have that information. Uh, they got me on that one, it's all right. I still have a lot of what I saw in my head. Uh, these people do what they call bioinformatics. Uh, they want to uh, they want to make you think a certain way, and this way is to make you serve them. If you don't serve them, they're going to tap your uh, device. Remember, the word device is of vice. Um, they're using it; it's a weapon. Of course. <coughs> We've heard about the uh, scam bridge with Face Crook, and you know, but most of this is just a stage show, uh, pub, uh, public uh, stunt to uh, get uh, people to put their confidence in the company. First of all, it's demonstrating that there's a the distance between the government and Face Crook. Uh, Face Crook is a what they would consider a platform company what happened in the 90s was these guys figured out that uh, there was an issue if, if uh, freedom fighters started to communicate using the internet so they said well how are they going to communicate and they had this this idea about you know profiles and the pentagon was actively profiling people as well and it works through the networks and the associations police departments etc um, but these people all access pretty much the same information at the top, the insurance companies, the banks, uh, you know, the federal governments. And so uh, they, <clears throat> here I am. So I'm speaking about this, how do you know if you're getting hacked? You know, sometimes you see a trail, um, sometimes it's slow. That's probably just if, there's someone within the, the, the immediate network. Um, these, these um, you know, th th there's certain people that can hack, obviously. Hi uh, uh, just the average person can hack into your computer. And then you have the GCHQ, which basically has unlimited access to every single device around the globe, or at least is attempting to. Some, there's some, probably some devices in some free-loving countries. Uh, but the GCHQ is bigger than the NSA, and the NSA is the largest department of the military of the U.S., which has something like 50 or 60 percent of the entire uh, tax budget, you know, that goes towards the military, and the military is hired by corporations. They work as a, a corporation themselves. So most people just pay the military to spy on them. Um, and then, you know, they're done through the police. Like, these people set up barriers. So, it's like, say you're Jacob Ratchild and you want to use the, you know, call the GCHQ. Hey, I want to find out about this guy. I want everything I know on this guy. I want a psychographic profile. And so, what they're going to do is they're going to hire down. Uh, the GCHQ is uh, going to handle all the business. No, they're going to hire what they would call maybe third parties. And these third parties are going to do the dirt and then send the information up the line. Because these always guys stay protected. They work, they function as an organized crime ring. Um, who's ever at the top, you know, speaks to very little people throughout the day. Probably, maybe even doesn't speak to anyone. And that's why a lot of this automation has come about. Because the automation can handle all the dirt. Uh, the main thing is, like, I don't have internet access. I haven't had internet access in, in, in uh, I don't know been years and years um, you know because um, the, the internet uh, my computer stopped working that you get the internet your computer don't work uh, somebody gets in they, they put uh, you know one of these viruses in it and you know, it's supposed to be like you've been looking at pornography well let me tell you something the viruses are a weapon that anyone can use against anyone 
And so once the Babylon defeat, f decides that this person is, is fighting for freedom, they're going to use, like I said, they're going to hire out. Now some of this is not even done in uh, the United States. It's done in other countries as well. And a lot of this uh, warfare uh, is uh, staged to uh, get people to continue to uh, slay, work to uh, enrich the beast. And in this way it profits uh, those in in uh, different uh, countries, the Western and Eastern Hemisphere, the beast having two horns. So, the Babylon is done. Once people begin to see what they're doing and how they're doing it, and they don't buy into their propaganda where, you know, uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is going to meet with the Congress and the Congress is going to pretend to give them a hard time. And everybody's going to act like something changed. You know, when people stop buying this cucka, uh, that's when I think people are going to actually, you know, fight for their freedom. If, if you told people a couple hundred years ago, hey, you're, you're going to walk around with this thing and you're going to be like showing everybody your face every day and telling everybody what you're going to do with yourself and all this stuff that's happening with these people have been accepting it um you know the the, the, the you, you you know people would would probably shit on your face because this is like anti-freedom hard core and like you know <clears throat> i've always said like you know, if 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 if, if you want to tap myself, if you want to if you want to interfere with my work, all I ask is that you give myself the same capability, and I have uh, realized that that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Somehow, I, like a person like myself is not trustworthy, but somehow. These guys, these guys are. Now, geoengineering is happening right now because the earth is burning up and the Babylon man cannot, cannot stop it. So he's actively trying to keep us from learning about his operations. This is uh, maybe part one.